Hello everyone, welcome back to Blue Collar Gaming for a series I like to call One Shot. Basically we're going to go into Arena Standard, play some games, see how well we do on the ladder. Today's build is, I think, pretty interesting. It's called Glass Cannon. And basically, we're going to be taking eh, maybe a budget magic approach to Arena. Basically, getting in there with really cheap creatures, gain a bunch of life, like a lot of life, like so much life. Hopefully, be growing this guy, making more with this guy. You kind of see the strategy. It's attack, gain life, put counters, gain life, do a bit of exiling. But the best thing about this is it doesn't require a lot of uh, mythics. I mean, okay, granted you got eight there and eight there, but land base isn't too terrible. Uh, a bunch of planes. You don't really need the castle Arden Vales. Uh, they're just there for kind of a chump block scenario. So, all in all, a pretty budget build for arena ticks as it's concerned. And even in real, you know, real paper magic, it's not going to cost you all that much. So without any further ado, let's jump in a game. And see how we do. Alright, true or false? Well, I kinda think it's false. I'm just saying. If you're gonna give me a 50-50, we're, we're gonna go uh, we're gonna go false. Um we got a two into a three into a five. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. Ooh, that's wonderful. Alright, alright. Opponent, what have you got? What have you got for me? Show me what you got. Oh no. That's Concerning, but not entirely unacceptable. Alright, there's a 1 2. Well, okay. So we go into here. Let's go ahead and get a Heliod on the field. Um, no attacks, no attacks. Let's just uh, see what happens here. Let's see what happens. Do they have the third mana? Do they have it? Do they swing with it? These are questions. These are things. Oh, it's a tap land. Okay, okay. And you're swinging. Well, I am most certainly not blocking. You can hit me for one as much as you like. There you go. Look, right there. Right there. Make that 19. Go ahead. Oh, no. Do you have things? Do you have stuff? Do you have stuff plus things? You're thinking about something. Or not? Are you just like to see the tap? Oh, you do? You don't. You do? You don't. You do. You don't. You're still thinking. There's a lot of it going on right now. Is that really that hard of a choice? You know what? If it was, then, uh, you know, well played? Question mark? What we're going to do here is. Hmm, that's a 3 1. I really. I don't like that, but that's Flash and Death Touch. If, hmm, if we give it life into the turn, no, I think we just get rid of it. Go ahead and just blast this guy. Plus, that gives us one more pit to make our Heliod active, because I think we're almost there. So, in for two, come in, see what he has. The biggest thing I'm kind of worried about is if they have an Ember Cleave. Because if they do. Uh, that, that might hurt a bit. That's a tap land. Okay, okay. You're still thinking about stuff? Oh, you're looking at that? You're looking at that. You're highlighting my card. You're thinking about other things. I'm, okay, that's pretty good. Not not too shabby. Not too shabby. Oh, you getting in for one? You can have that one. You can have that one all day long. That one is yours. Or not. Fair enough. Okay. What I would like to do, though, is I think I'm going to bring her out. I'm going to get him active. I'm definitely going to exile that thing. And then we get in. Ha-ha! Feel the wrath of seven to the facial region. Are you going to block? Are you going to do it? Huh? Huh? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? No, you're not. That's what I thought. All right. Now, we did leave ourselves open to the backswing, but I think that would be okay. Because then we get to make all their stuff cut. Oh, that didn't work the way I thought. You think you? Yeah. You know what? I can't speak, and you just yeah. That's what I thought. That has a little ability on it called indestructible. And you found that out the hard way, but it's okay. 
It's okay. You did well, opponent. We will move on to the next one. Polly.rock, how you doing? Welcome, opponents. Hopefully you're not prepared for any of this mono-white shenaniganery. Okay, a one, two, and a three. Into a four, two lands. We do run a lot of lands. I don't think it's going to be that much of an issue. But it, then again, famous last words. And I tend to play standard like I play commander. Oh, look, two lands. I have plenty of time to draw more, and I'm usually mistaken a lot. So let's see what happens. But first, oh, do you kill the dragon? Look at the dragon. Look at the dragon. Blowfire dragon. <laughs> oh no. A oh, grazer. Oh no. Simic ramp. Well, this is where having kind of a budget mana base might. Well, I'm going to say budget mana base. Kind of a budget and general detriment might not be good for us, but you know what? I'm willing to try. I'm putting forth the effort. Hopefully they just don't play a Yarrow at any point in time. Oh, Risen Reef! Great! <laughs> For a moment there I thought it was something scary and not completely horrifying. Oh no. Okay, so we might... Well, this Hushbringer should do really, really well here because all their stuffs go on ETBs, so if we just say... No. No ETBs for you. I don't like them. Get them out of here. I don't want you having all these triggers. So, no ATVs. I've actually found out that this card right here stops a surprising amount of creatures. I don't know if it's just the format. I don't know if it's the way it's going right now. But it is pretty funny how much Hushbringer is really good right now. Doesn't I mean everything is a, has an ETV effect for all the new stuff. Well, most of anything good anyway. Especially Risen Reef, because they just want to play Risen Reef and Risen Reef for the big elementals, that scry and everything, but they all have ETB effects, and Hushbringer just says, you know what, not today. Not today. Alright, that was a sad craw craw. So what I would like to do, though, is I think I am going to... Ugh, I really want to draw land, but I kind of need to start getting in for something so let's go ahead and Vanishing Light Craw Craw here and let's get in for one. Oh, by the way that has reach but I still gained a life so you know stuff happens and oh, <laughs> gotcha <laughs> I got you good oh, oh is this online? Ah, oh, not quite. Getting there. Let's go ahead and gain another life. I think we need more life up in here. So what, we're at four? We need five, so it will come online next turn, which would be fantastic, and we'll go ahead and start growing you. Ooh, okay. This is this is starting to be a little interesting. How, lo how much longer can you block, hmm? Because my healer hawks are coming down and they all have life link. Oh, how big is your craw craw? Is it a 2-2? Two, two? Funny, mine's a 2-3. Imagine that. And you're tapped out. Yes, you can look at my Heliod. I see you highlighting it. It does things. Alright, it does a lot of things. I wouldn't say too much things, but it does some things. And it's pretty funny. No, what, you want to get in for one, two? Go ahead. No, it's fine. No, oh no. Oh no for you. Look who we got here. Heliod is active and we're gaining life. Which turns on this. Which I'm going to attack you with this. Alright, come on. More life gain. All the life gain. So you can see the uh, the kind of the upside of this deck. It it has it has abilities to stop a lot of things. But it can just get easily destroyed itself. It's one of those, as I said, it's a glass can. I can do a lot of damage, but there are a lot of decks out there that can absolutely wreck me. We'll just see. I just was lucky enough to get one of my Hushbringers and we were playing Simic, the ETB tribe of the current meta. So that helped out a bit. Oh my goodness, six? What are you playing for six? 
you, you do realize that does nothing, right? Okay, just I was just checking. I didn't know if you knew. But you did. Alright, so we are at 29, right? I need to be at 15 more than my life total to zero. And we'll go ahead and pop this guy right there. So that's a 5-6, that's a 5-6. Hmm, I think we need some healer hawks. I do. I think we need one over here too, as well. So what we're going to do is, you are indestructible, you have flying, get on in there. Let's see what you got. He's going to have to block something. I mean, this will stay alive, this will stay alive, so... Let's see what you got. Come on, give me some life. Alright, you're going to block there, block there. I like it, I like it. Uh, I probably should have activated his ability to gain more, but it'll be okay. I could have actually given him life lane or another creature. Ah, I could not have, so ha. Mistakes were not made and the punt was not on my fault. Alright, so you go bring out your Nessa. I can respect that. I'm going to straight up murder your Nessa. But, you know, it was a necessary thing. You do have a lot of mana now though. So what can you do? You're highlight oh, you're gonna try to go for my Ajani. I'm going to tell you now. It won't work, but I appreciate that. So I'm going to be like, no thank you, and no thank you. And that puts me at uh, 15 above my starting life, and that grows bigger, and that grows bigger. Happy days are here again. The zero ability has exiled everything. We can come back. Happy days are here again. And you know what? Another one. We'll just throw this guy right back out here. We will create another cat. Alright, you kill Nissa. You, the facial region. And you also, the facial region. And GG opponent, GG. We got him. Glass cannon coming through. Moving up on the tier list. I like it. I like it. Did you have fun this match? Well, I did. I can't say much for the other opponent, but... Yes! <laughs> Alright, Koza... Is Kozalek? We're gonna go with Kozalek. I'm glad he's not in this game. Because that would hurt. Let's see what our drop is. We got a 1, a 2, a 3, to a 4... Oh, double threes? Yeah, yeah, we're keeping this. Especially since we can turn on this early. Oh, it's happening. Bam! Bam! Kakao! 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 Turn one call. We like it. Oh, oh, mono black, huh? Yeah, that might be a thing. So, let's turn you on. Let's get this out here. And let's poke you for one. Alright. Off to an early lead. We got one on him. Can we keep it? Mono black is pretty tough in standard these days. It, uh... Oof. Oh, no. Is it a cat deck? And there's the cats. Aha! Gotcha, kitty! <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Hushbringer in this format is hilarious. It just works. I understand. I mean, it's just, it's hilarious how many things have ETB effects. Like, he can do his cat interaction combo all day long, and I just don't care. Now, when they get to three mana, I'm going to care, because then they can probably just kill me, and that's just going to hurt. But we got a Heliod out here, so let's see what happens. Ooh, okay, goes through, goes through. Pretty animation. Moving to attack. Can I get there? Are you going to do this even though it does nothing? Oh, you're looking. You're look Okay, all attack. See what happens. And that's two more life. Let's put, uh, let's put one on this. And let's put one on this. I'll be generous with the counters. Everybody gets a counter. And I want everybody to enjoy the counters. That's right. Up to 23, all right. It's when they get to that third land that's kind of gets iffy because that's murderous rider territory. What did I say? What did I say? Yep. All right, so that turns their cat back on. But I'm not really that worried about it because we have a lot of life gain in this deck. Now they're probably gonna start the cat combo or not, okay. Well, my Heliod is now online, so what would you really like to do here? Nothing? Okay. Well, we're going to get in with both. We're going to gain two life. 
on attack, we're going to put a counter on Heliod. And we're going to put a counter on that. Uh huh. What you gonna do, opponent? You're going to take it to the facial region. Oh, down to six. And then we're just gonna put another counter on you. That's right, up to 26. Already uh, representing lethal. Turn four. Oh, what you got, opponent? You can do your cat combo, but that's not gonna save you. Hmm. I don't know what our opponent's going to do here. Okay, well you destroy that. Well, okay, so you're not dead next turn unless I top deck a bigger creature. Alright, getting in for one. I can. It's respectable. Alright, come on. Creature off the top. I think that might do it. We're just going to drop this casual Daxos. I think I might need one more pit, maybe. Yep, still need one more pit, but that's okay, because we'll drop an Arden Veil. Uh, you already have lifelink, so let's just go ahead and in there and tag you for four. Right to the face. You already have lifelink. You're going to do cat combo now? Alright, so you're going to gain two life, which is fine. Yeah, yeah, make the food, sack the food, bring the cat. It's a vicious cycle. Yes, we know. And bring it back. And that. And I'm going to gain all that life back. And we're going to put a counter on the hawk. So again, we're representing lethal. And if you block, I'm going to put that guy on that guy. And hopefully get some lifelink and grow the hawk even bigger. So what you got playing? You got four mana. You can kill pretty much, well, except for my god. Hmm. Oh, that's a good play. I think it's a little late, but it's not terrible. You're up to four. You gotta have something. Can you get, well, okay, you're gonna start the, set, the cat thing or you're gonna wait till my turn? Probably gonna wait till my turn. Oh, oh. How about a Johnny's Pride mate? That turns on my Heliod. You gonna set, start the cat combo? You're gonna need to. Because I'm going to gain life. Oh, or just scoop it up. Good game, good game. Glass Cannon coming through with another victory against Mono Black. Woo! Gotta love it, gotta love it. Hello, Rich Awesome. How awesome are you today? I mean, it's in your name, so you got to be so awesome, bro. Like, totally. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but I figure Rich Awesome talks like this. <laughs> All right, let's see. We got two and a three, a three. Uh, you know what? We're keeping. I think this is good. We got some early interaction. We're on play. What are we playing up against? That that kind of decides everything here. The only bad thing about doing a um, basically the arena one shots is you have no idea what you're playing. So yeah, it gets a little iffy at times. But let's go ahead and drop this pride mate. Okay, how you got for two mana opponents? Are you playing knights? Oh, this is knight tribal. Okay. Respectable, respectable. Gut of Bones comes in tapped. Hmm, I'm not sure about this. Knights are usually pretty good about going over the top. Especially that guy. So what I think I want to do, especially early on, is I want to go ahead and remove that guy from the battlefield. And see if we just can't get in for two. Alright, get some early damage in. That way, they're not bumping the other knights with that, making that thing grow. Eh, it, get, it gets it gets a little much. You still can turn him on, so he's probably going to get a counter, but I think next turn... Oh! Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Well, that just put a hose in all of the plans. Let's see what we got here. We can get Heliod out there, but I don't think it's enough. I think we get this out here and get a hawk out there. That way, when next turn, if they survive, we go Heliod and start gaining a bunch of counters. If they survive. Alright, opponent coming in. I am not blocking. Nope, feel free. Have fun. Oh my goodness, Embercleave. Oh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. 
That's 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 some pain. Okay, so what I think we're gonna do, we gotta start figuring out ways to gain life here, cause, ouch. So let's go ahead and get in. We're gonna gain some life. Uh, gonna put up one on the hawk, one there. Should gain another life. Let's put it there. All right, we do have an indestructible, so I can block. So that's not terrible. We gained a bit of life, so I don't think we're. Oh no, they shot themselves. Well, they have. Murderous right? Okay, okay. Hmm. Interesting choices, I'll say. To, but you're indestructible, so I am blocking all of that. Oh, and they scoop it up. Oh my goodness, glass cannon getting there with a tier rank up. Oh my goodness. Man, I, I, I think they probably should have stayed in that game. We didn't have much, but we were going to start gaining a lot of life. But I don't know. I think that was an early scoop on their part. So, uh, all right, moving on to the next one. All right, Lorenz. Welcome, opponents, to Glass Cannon. Hopefully you didn't build around it. <laughs> Let's see, we got a one drop, a two drop, some early life gain leading up to that. Yeah, it's good blockers. I say, uh, I say we keep this. I say we keep this. Looking good. Look at that. Turn one play. Look at that. Boom. What you got, opponent? What are we up against? Blue. That's never a good thing. So, Daxos? Even though there's only one man, I still have that cringe. That's like, oh my goodness, they're going to counter everything I've gotten to oblivion. Thos is horrible. Huh. Run that out a little early. So is this Mill? I guess it could be Mill. I am confused, but it's okay. Um, yeah, we'll just see if they do anything. If not, it'll be funny. Okay, just one save. Yes, there's no particular reason to do that. I just thought it was funny. Alright, I think we're playing Mill. Oh my goodness, Midnight Climb. I don't know what we're playing, but I like everything about it. Okay. Gets a, gets a clock on there. We did draw that. That's pretty good. Hmm. Is that fossil or... No, with that, I think it'll be okay. Hmm. So it does have two pips plus that, which gives a better scry. I don't really want that going off, but it's 12 counters. I want to go ahead and get this Johnny out here. I want to go ahead and see if Daxos can start bumping him up a bit, because I think we're going to need it. And, uh, yeah, let's just say no attacks. What you got? It's on two, and then I got Banishing Light for that, because I definitely don't want them to draw more cards. Hmm. Ooh, okay, Amasa. Oh, I see what they're doing. Oh, that's got to go. Okay, going down for four every two. Oof, that's a nasty little combo. Fortunately, I think we're going to have to use our Banishing Light on that because that is brutal. Alright, so let's go ahead and start off. Let's gain some life. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of that Thassa because that's disgusting. And let's see if uh, we can get some damage in on our opponent. What you got, opponent? Uh, you don't block that, that's fair. I just want to get four. Okay. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. That's up to three. Hmm. Hopefully we can draw into another banishing light to get rid of that clock. Oh, that was that is just mean. I like that combo though. Thassa, constantly blinking. Okay, so they're going to exile my token, that's fine. Don't really mind. Ooh, and a Nyx Lotus. Woohoohoohoo! Opponent is playing some absolute spice, and I can, uh. That's pretty nice. Yeah, another land. Don't really need more land at the moment. Let's go ahead and get one of these guys out here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and create one of these. Get another Daxos trigger, start growing them a bit. Leave one open just in case they have more removal. So yeah, no attacks, no attacks. 
Oof. This is a this is a really spicy build. They're gonna have a lot of mana now. They've got uh well they got three off that, so that's pretty good. That's up to six. Ah, oh, come on, we need another banishing light. Come on, banishing light. What do you got, opponent? Uh, looking, you're up to you got two cards. Oh, there's some there's some tapping. There's some more to oh my goodness, what are you playing? Whatever it is, I don't like it. Are you just putting... Oh, seven? Oh, no! <laughs> well, that's a... That's a thing. <laughs> okay, that was a... Uh, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. I don't think we have anything for an 8-8. Eight -eight. Ouchies. Um... Yeah, I guess we can play an Arden Vale. Uh, go ahead and get another, get some more life. We're gonna need it. Go ahead and put another token out there. Oof, this is going to hurt a lot. All right, so that's that's getting up there. Oh my goodness, I love this deck though. Mono, blue devotion. Oof. Oh no, and a hostage taker. Ooh, I think uh, I think Glass Cannon has really met its match this time. Oh yeah. Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Plus that lat. Oh my goodness. Their hand. Oh, I love everything about this deck. It is. It's pretty fun. Mono Blue Devotion. We have to. Maybe another video. Uh, we have to give this one a try. Let me know in the comments, guys. What uh, what decks you like to play in Arena? Uh, we'll definitely give them a try, especially if they got some spice to them. I'm not a big fan of the whole uh, meta game of well, the aggro, Rakdos aggro right now, or control. But hey, you want to see it done? I'll make it happen. Oh, that's up to ten. Oh, this is going to hurt. We're up to thirty-four, but I don't think it's enough. All right, what do we draw? Uh, we draw Heliod. I still don't think it's enough, but uh, we can start putting counters on things. So, counter on Daxos? Oh, wait. They're just going to steal that. Target permanent. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we should scoop, but you know what? We ain't going to do it. We're going to make sure that if they take something of ours, it's going to be awesome, and they will enjoy it. So, <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness, a reshuffle too? This deck is awesome. Oh, I can't wait to play it. Mono Blue Devotion. Yeah, what are you, what are you taking? You're going to take that Heliod. That's kind of what I thought. And with that Nyx Lotus. Mm, wow. This is a... Uh, oh my goodness. And a, oh, oh, we are getting... We are getting beat every single possible way. <laughs> Oh, what are you playing? You no, know, it just come on. Let's see some. Let's see some other good stuff. Untap target. Yep, tap for six again. Oof. All right, guys, we are gonna scoop it up on that. We definitely got destroyed. But that was such a cool mono blue deck. I have not seen that one in best of one. And you know what? I've got to find that list, and we've got to play it. I think it is so awesome. All right, Gothic Hitman. Welcome. Let's see what you got for Glass Cannon. Hopefully you're not playing that Mono Blue Devotion deck that completely wrecked us earlier, because ouch. Whew, I'm still recovering from that. All right. Planes go. What you got? Um, hmm. Some sort of... Some Golgari? Maybe five color? We'll see. So how about this and a Hushbringer? So I'm just going to say shush. None of that. If you have ETBs, we don't want them. But we... Did you just... Okay. That that was a... That was a two for one. But I can appreciate that. I guess. I don't really... I have not seen these ran <laughs> in standard. So this might be a more budget build than our budget build. And I thought our budget build was pretty budget. I just said budget a lot. Deal with it. <laughs> All right. But if we don't draw land soon, we're going to figure out. Oh my goodness! What is this? Mono black negative counters. Uh, how about a Heliod? 
Yeah, let's take that Heliod. Alright, come on, one more land. Let's get this Ajani out here so we can start. Each player puts up. Oh, oh, so it is some sort of graveyard deck. What'd you get from us? You got a bunch of land. The one thing I really wanted. I don't like you. <laughs> it's alright, we have a Hushbringer. Can you kill our Hushbringer for a second time? We will find out. What is the second ability of this? Exile the two tire cards from graveyard, you gain a life reach? Ouch. Well, you can, um. You can get rid of a Hushbringer and a Daxos. That's what I figured. Okay, put you out to 24. Ooh, that's a Tess Enchantment. So this is some sort of enchantment deck. Huh, okay, well those make a little bit more sense, I guess, but I still don't think I'd run those. I do think we should get that Satessan Champion out of here, though. So, yeah, we're just going to get rid of that, because we don't want any sort of that card draw. And let's go ahead and swing in for one, and let's see if Helia can get us a counter. And a counter. Love it. Love everything about it. Alright, opponent, what you got? So you've already exiled everything from us. What have you got from you? Okay, okay. And if you're missing a land drop, it's not too terrible. You have a lot of land. We do not. Hmm. I don't think that they should have done that. Because that gave us the land we kind of needed. Never mind. <laughs> Okay, so this is like mono black removal. Yeesh. Alright, so let's go ahead and... They do not want that Hushbringer in there, so let's go ahead and put another Hushbringer out there. And follow it up with a Linden. That turns that on. Let's go ahead and get in with that. Um, you know what? We're going to drop a counter on Heliod. So opponent, you're going to take six. Thank you very much. What is this here? Tire point reveals for his hand. Well, you can have a Heliod or a Najani. It is up to you. You took the Ajani. Okay, okay. Makes sense. You would have gained a lot more life off that Ajani, but maybe through the power of the magic gods, we can get get another Ajani. <laughs> you really do not like this Hushbringer, man. You have another one? You gonna do it again? You gonna do it again, buddy? Come on, it's right there. There you go. Wow. You do not like that thing at all. I guess I can't really blame you. Yeah, we'll get him for four. Uh, no blocks. We're hoping to gain a life on our next turnabout. No, oh, hello, Daxos. We will gladly welcome you because it turns back on our Heatley out of thing. It does indeed. Ha ha! Alright, opponent. So, uh, all's fair in love and life gain. So, uh, take this. We will gain two life. I will put two counters. And we're going to put a counter there. And a counter there. And then we're going to gain more life, possibly. Oh, well, I did forget to actually do the whole life gain thing, so uh, <clears throat> that was a... That was a punt on my part, but, uh, you know, it'll be okay. They're, they are down to six. I do have a nice blocker. What do you got, opponent? You have a lot of everything, so it wouldn't surprise me if you have a way out of this. Alright, opponent in the tank, thinking. Thinking. Gonna do something. You gotta do something. I'm representing lethal. Oh, clicking. Not clicking. Looking at land. Looking at our stuff. You can buff up one of our creatures by that. Uh, well, enchant me have an exile. All we got's a Heliod. Oh, oh, you're in the timer. Hmm. You gotta have something good. We are representing it. Or you can just leave it back. Oh. Well, that was a card. I can respect that. Oof, that's, that set us back a bit. 
And we'll put a counter on that. Hmm. Well, shoot. Well, I guess it's top deck or bust now. Alright, what do we got? Come on, top deck. That's not a top deck. Oh no. Glass Cannon is looking pretty glass at this moment. Not drawing any answers. Could really use a bashing light or something to get on the battlefield. Hmm. Oh man, they're buffing up this guy. This is going to hurt. Okay, okay. He's pretty big. <laughs> drawing cards. Come on, banishing light off the top. Oh no, double the card draw. Oh, this is looking bad. This is looking bad in many different ways. Okay. And yeah, that goes to the bottom. Okay. Coming in for seven? Coming in for seven. Alright, come on. Top deck. Top deck, top deck. That was not a top deck, and we will scoop it up. Oh no! Glass cannon. Ah. I tell you, man, when I say glass cannon, I mean it. It either works or it doesn't, but when it works, oh, it's so much fun. But if your opponent has a lot of answers, well, they have a lot of answers. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of One Shot. Um, it, this deck's pretty good. I mean, granted, you know, the last couple of matches we had were basically Answer Central and that Mono Blue Devotion deck. I've got to find that list somewhere and give it a shot because that looks like a ton of fun. Ooh, man, we just, we just got destroyed by that one. But as you can see, this deck has a lot of power behind it. If you can get your things out early, you can get your answers. It just wins. The only thing I think I'd change up from this deck list is probably put a board wipe in here. We have the Elspeth Who Conquers Death, but I think putting Shadow of the Sky might be a better one. And make it a three of so we draw it more. Um, other than that, I'm going to leave a link to the, the deck list below. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the, the episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Farewell.